Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're going to demonstrate and show you how to trim and cut a whole uh, beef tenderloin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, the tenderloin out of the cut cryo pack. It's been uh, wet aged for a couple of days. So what we're gonna do is just start taking your knife and just uh, make a cut. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do now is follow the seam. We're not going to cut all the way at the bottom. Just so you can lift it up, have all the blood and juices flow down. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep it in the bag. Okay, and just uh, put that away. I'm gonna get some paper towels. Some people use towels, and we're gonna cut it down. Okay, just gonna put that here. I'm gonna pat the beef tenderloin down. Just uh, dry it up a little bit from the top as well. Okay, all right. So there are three pieces of the beef tenderloin. What we have is, you have the head, it's just right here, okay? You have the beef tenderloin, or the tenderloin, and you have the chain, okay? So what we're gonna do first, hang on, sorry guys. first is you see this uh, whole fatty tissue this is also called the silver skin Just rip it apart a little bit separate the, the chain and from the tenderloin all right so got that nice separation you see that so this is our nice tenderloin. Okay, so we have the chain separated pretty nicely. We also have the head here, okay. Let's trim back a little bit there, okay. This fatty muscle piece out. Okay. That's good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is just trim away the chain. chain this makes for uh but well, once we clean up the fat and take it uh trim it up this makes for good stir fry beef okay. so yeah there's some uh, good good meat right there put that aside first come back to the tenderloin So we have the head on this side, right? So what we're gonna do is try to separate a little bit better. Right. 
So what we're gonna do is just gonna trim away right here. And we'll save that as well. This is a nice piece. And that brings us to the tenderloin. All right, so we have some uh, muscle tissue here and some silver skin. Uh, start trimming away. It's fat. It's not good to eat this uh, silver skin because it's all chewy and takes away from the tenderness uh, of our beautiful tenderloin. Okay, we'll flip it around and you see uh, it's kind of ribbed here all along there. That's uh, this is the tissue that connects uh, the tenderloin with the, the ribs. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut away uh, at this. Clean it up a little bit. Okay. And flip it back on the front side and we see another big piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from uh, this side. Try to slip, make a little cut. And what I like to do is I'll flip it around and I would just go in on and flex uh, your knife and cut away. Okay, it's not working too well. Look, look, look at this all, this, all this muscle. Try it again here. Okay, getting there. a little bit more on this side.
So most of it's pretty clean here. Just clean up the rest of it. A little bit more of the silver skin. And then we can start cutting. Okay, so I'm just going to finish cleaning the back up. Okay, so I'll continue on. Still some uh, rough edges there, right? So I'm just gonna trim off this bit. Save this for uh, our stir fry. Clean up the, the top edge as well. a little bit more silver skin on this edge. Just a little bit more right there. Okay, so now we're pretty much good. Just clean up my board a little bit as well. Trim off some of the excess. But okay, just gonna cut, cut off this little tail here. Okay, so now. Pretty, yeah, a little bit, a little bit more right here. Trim off that. Now, 
pretty much have our tenderloin so you could kind of visualize how many uh, you want to cut and make so let's see I have like one two three four five six seven maybe probably be able to make eight or nine okay so let's start cutting make us nice smooth cut uh, the first uh, one that you make uh, you probably just keep it uh, as a nice uh, filet uh, mignon all right so that's what we got keep that to the side and depending on how thick you want uh, your tenderloins One, there's two, there's three. Four. It's five. Save this last piece for uh, some stir fry. Actually, uh, I guess we could clean this up a little bit and make it into one. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. So we got uh, eight nice pieces of tenderloin. So I'll just get a, another uh, container or a Ziploc bag. do is you can either uh, right now we can freeze it or we can put it in the fridge for uh, barbecuing we have beautiful uh, tenderloin here this one piece costs about 55 Canadian dollars for eight pieces of uh, tenderloin so instead of going out to uh, the restaurant paying $55 for one tenderloin we now have eight beautiful pieces so what we're gonna do now is I have one more uh, package of tenderloin and we'll cut and trim uh, one more piece for you guys just gonna wash my hands first so if you like uh, this video I appreciate if you would uh, hit the like button hit subscribe uh, if you have any questions or if I'm doing it wrong, I'm not a professional, but uh, you can definitely leave uh, your comments down below and we'll now do the second one. Okay. So same thing, just gonna cut the top off, just gonna trim and just get it started. Hold the side. Okay. And same thing. Don't cut the bag all the way. Leave a pocket on the bottom for all the juices. Keep it clean. Get a paper towel or towel. And just pat it dry. 
keep your uh, surface nice and clean. Still remember the three parts of the beef tenderloin. Give me one second there. Let's turn around. Say, so use. There we go. Okay, so here's the head, the tenderloin there, and we have the chain over here. So we're gonna start uh, separating the chain. Fingers are separated first. Okay, and it separates by itself even better. tissue there. So I hope this video, once you see it, you won't be uh, scared about buying a whole uh, tenderloin. You two can go ahead, save some money, do this at home and enjoy some beautiful uh, moist uh, beef tenderloin. Okay, so once again, the chain, we separate the chain. If you want to clean it up a little bit uh, right now, go ahead. But I usually just cut it, put it aside, and I'll trim it up uh, after. Cut it into smaller pieces and then freeze it for like a beautiful, nice uh, stir-fried beef. Okay, so I'm just going to put this aside for now. And we're back with the tenderloin. Okay, once again, we're just going to separate the top, the head part. So we're just going to Peel that off away. Okay, so we're just going to cut the head off. piece of stir fry okay. and I'm going to take uh, from the back and cut away at these uh, ribby parts and the fat Let's 
same thing, just keep it for stir fry. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of stir fry beef. Flip it back to the front. Cut away all this fat. Rip away anything that you can. Start here around the tip. Big piece of muscle tissue. Okay. Get it in from here. It around. That didn't go so well. bit more. Just some more on the edge. Away whatever fat you can see as well. Put it 
back side is cutting away at the bumpy pieces, try to smooth it out. the stir fry let's see hold on I just got a big piece here I want to cut off Okay, so same thing, we're just gonna start cutting away the top part where your head is. And start right over here. So this beautiful filet mignon piece, you can save that. Save that for yourself to eat. And then pretty much cut, so I, I use like about, about four fingers. I'll do three fingers today. One. Six. Seven. Eight. Took on our nice eight pieces. All right. Well, so what you can do is you can just uh, nicely, nicely put a little bit of salt, fire up your barbecue, uh, and enjoy a nice dinner. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Once again, my name is Gary. Thank you for watching. I appreciate if you hit the subscribe uh, button and uh, leave your comments uh, down below. Thank you and we'll see you next time.